I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making it. You know, nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. Shit down. Act .org and sign up today for course access. All right, all right. I'm hitting you with some heavy hitters tonight, baby. I got the proof because I be talking about stuff and I be telling y'all I've seen this. Now, let's get back into Disney World. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. There was a young girl who was allegedly kidnapped in Disney World, and this is the story behind it. Let's watch this together, Rumble. Now, this is the video I was talking about a couple of weeks ago, where she allegedly was pulled into an underground tunnel, and the family caught it, but they just missed it. What is going on at Disneyland? But these stories that have emerged in the last four days are something straight out of a nightmare. There are two separate stories that have taken place at Disney World in the last four days that are both very hellish and seem to show another side of Disney World. And one of these stories was on a completely different side of TikTok where everyone is speaking Spanish. So it literally took me two days to decipher what was going on. The other story was literally of a man losing his shit at Disney World. But the way that this man looks and his appearance gives a whole other story entirely. However, it seems that Disney is using one story to cover up the other. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of That's Insane with Aja. Today, we're going to be talking about something that is going on in Disney World that has been unrevealing itself in the last four days. So this is the first story that was on a whole opposite side of TikTok about this four-year-old child that was said to have gone missing at a Disney World theme park. And when her parents found her in the bathroom, what they saw was crazy in its entirety. Now, to be clear, that is not the actual young lady. That is just a representation of her that someone made to tell the story. This is said to be the actual four-year-old child that her parents said let go to the bathroom by herself. And when they went to get her, they said they saw a tunnel opening in the restroom from the floor and their daughter was being taken. This is the original missing poster that people are sending around on the other side of TikTok. And apparently this young child's name is Audrey Elizabeth. The parents were asked to give a description of what they saw when this four year old child went missing. And this is the description that they gave. And it was up a trap door in the floor or the wall that opened up and the child was behind. This is the video that is going around and is said to be a representation of what they saw, not the actual video. What is so crazy is that the mother asked the workers at Disneyland to break into the floor and they denied to break ground to look for this child. Now, this is the video that people are saying is supposedly the mother talking to security, trying to get them to look for her daughter and they will not look for her. I'm not sure if this is the real video, but again, if you understand Spanish or you hold and click translate, it translates to this being the mother that is of the missing four-year-old child. Now, for those of you who are unaware about the tunnel system that runs through Disneyland for the characters to go through, because they don't want to ruin the fantasy and have multiple characters seen in different places, this is the actual tunnel system, so I don't deny anything happened. Next, there is this man that has gone rogue at Disney World, and there are multiple videos of him climbing into the actual props at Disney World uh -huh. in the water naked, and to me, it feels like a cover-up for the missing child. Because we all know when someone is... No, it's not a cover-up. He just uh, lost his mind pedophile that came from out of that tunnel where they probably had locked in there doing all types of stuff and escaped. But ball naked, like allegedly the one that was hanging from Buckingham Palace. But that's just my assessment, possibly. On the forefront or a company is on the forefront, damage control is always to distract. However... This man looks so malnourished, confused, and he seems to be there alone, which is weird in itself because who goes 
to Disneyland with no family or no kids. So who's to say that this man was not being kept captive at Disney World and finally got free and started to do these bizarre things that I'm going to show you. This is a video of the man you see him up there, literally on the Disney props. If you look at this man, he looks very confused and he could have kidnapped this little boy. He probably was a little boy and they had him for years or something. Look at this. Bewildered as well as really, really small, which to me makes me think that he might be malnourished or he could just be extremely fit. Either way, the look in his eyes, he really does look terrified and unaware of what is going on, which does not make sense at a Disneyland theme park. Considering people go there with the intention to see rides, have fun, see their favorite Disney characters, and they usually go in a group. So why is no one stopping this man or why is he alone? Here is another video of the gentleman. If you look at him, he looks very confused. And in this, he looks super skinny. There are his clothes, which are very dirty and tattered. So I'm unsure why he is there in the first place or where he came from. In my opinion, one or two things happened. He escaped from one of those tunnels under Disneyland, or he was put out there as a front to distract the media and people from what is really going on with that missing child. I don't know. What do you guys think? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of That's Insane with Aja, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, Aja. That was a great breakdown. Okay, I gave my synopsis as far as that man is weird, but that is the story that I was telling you guys about as far as the child that had been missing in Disney World that is not being brought to, bring, being brought to the forefront. And we already highlight that Disney World has its own governance in Florida does not control Disney World. So allegedly from what I have heard, the police in Florida cannot go in on Disney World premises to do actual investigation. But you have to verify that. I, I um, came across that video. I didn't have no facts to it. So I'm going to just say allegedly. Okay. Now let's get into a little bit of Disney World is all I need because I do believe Nickelodeon and Disney World is connected. But let's talk about the Austin twins because these young ladies allegedly is being vindicated, not allegedly. They're, now people are looking at their situation a little bit different. When those kids, they want to have nothing to do with Full House, they want to go back, they were, and they were going through drug spells, all types of stuff. Like, what is going on with the twins? This can make more sense. So this was the vulgar commentary that many celebrities made against Bob Saget. That's his name. Um, and his interactions with these twins. Let's listen. Nickelodeon and Disney are being exposed right now. And we're all finally learning the heartbreaking truth about some of our favorite childhood stars. I think we should take this time to apologize to Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. Mm. Everybody said they were crazy, but... I can't be the only one that saw Bob Saget's roast. And I know it's just a roast and roasts are just for jokes, but aren't jokes supposed to be funny? I'm going to play some of those clips now and I'll let you form your own opinions. I've never met the Olsen twins. He introduced me to them. I said to him, how do I tell them apart? He says, Ashley swallows. How do you make an expert? The Olsen twins say, well, Bob Saget hands you a chocolate milk that he just made. And you wake up three hours later, lying on your stomach. That should have been called blackjack because you hit on the Olsons when they were eight. He didn't stop till they were 21. Tired job consisted of saying, take a look at this. Which is what he used to say to Mary-Kate Olsen in her dressing room. Is it true that you used to give Mary-Kate acting lessons? You tell her, act like this never happened. The way the audience was laughing is just sick. It is. It makes you wonder how much truth there were behind these alleged jokes and accusations. Since Nickelodeon and Disney are being exposed right now, and we're all finally learning the heartbreaking truth about some of our favorite childhood stars, I think we should take this time to apologize to Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. Everybody said they were crazy, but I can't be the only one that saw Bob Saget's roast. And I know it's just a roast, and roasts are just for jokes, but aren't jokes supposed to be funny? I'm going to play some of those clips now, and I'll let you form your own opinions. I've never met the Olsen twins. He introduced me to them. I said... Let me show you a little, a few more clips because that, that right there was just horrendous. And I think I remember, you know, the guy that used to play on, um, um, not, um, what's his name? My favorite movie I used to watch as a little kid, the redhead kid that always was getting in trouble and he was, um, adopted and Dennis the Menace or something like that, but the real movie and he was the principal in the movie, that guy 
I think I remember when he did that commentary, but it didn't sound like that to me at the time. I was much younger. It didn't even sound like that. He said, give them chocolate milk and they pass out and they wake up and they butt hurt. Who does, who says that? Who says that? That was a humiliation ritual, I think, for Bob Saget too, because he sat there and laughed knowing that he was allegedly a pedophile. attention to this video. Good evening, godless sodomites. I'm bringing the truth, John. We're in Hollywood, the belly of the beast. Reality television celebrates the human condition. Listen. It warps the minds of our children and weakens the resolve of our allies. The results are often dramatic and always unexpected. We're here to honor achievement in that category. By giving you a golden idol to worship. Kneel before your God, Babylon! Do you get it? Do you understand? I'm very what honored you? to be able to receive this amazing award from the, from, from the depths of my soul. Baby, I'm sorry Puffy did that to you, but you 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 chose to keep going. Usher. From the depth from from the depths of my soul. Why is your hand over your eye? Because <laughs> I'm a devil worshiper. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, well, I have tickets to see the devil worshiper. Yeah, I'd like to thank the devil and all the dark lords. Murder was a case. I want my shit to be about cutting a deal with the devil, then getting sentenced to the pen. Then the shit happened. Bring your eyes down to me, you make it better. And how long will I be? Eternal life better forever. Also, parts in the album where you speak to Lucy. Yeah, yeah, Lucifer. yeah. Lucifer. Yep. The devil, so you, 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 yeah, man. Yeah. Come on, you don't know that Lucy got you all your life. I watched you, and now you all grown up to sign this contract. If that's possible, if you don't get this right, pay close attention to this video. It's ridiculous. This is ridiculous how much been in our face, and we've been so damn blind. Y'all see that? Y'all see what's on my timeline? I do got another clip of the Olsen twins, something that I want you guys to watch. Um, let's get a little bit more into the Olsen twins. I had it in order, but I think it had got out of order. That's what had happened. Let's go. This was the clip I wanted to show you. Watching Pied on set, I started thinking about other child stars, and Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen came to mind. I believe there are more reasons as to why they definitely went away from the spotlight, didn't go back for the reunion show. And I think it has a lot to do with the people on set during Full House. In 2008, there was a Bob Saget roast. Job consisted of saying, take a look at this, which is what he used to say to Mary Kate Olsen in her dressing room. Full House should have been called Blackjack because you hit on the Olsons when they were eight. You didn't stop till they were 21. Is it true that you used to give Mary Kate acting lessons? He'd tell her, act like this never happened. She'd be like, you got it, dude. How do you make an answer? The Olsen twins say, well, Bob Saget hands you a chocolate milk that he just made, and you wake up three hours later lying on your stomach. John Stamos recently revealed that he had actually gotten the Olsen twins fired when they were babies. What is alarming is the way he describes the children that they were replaced with. Sorry, the babies. Give me some other kids, and they brought these other two kids that were... He's a weirdo, too. This is what we're trying to show you, allegedly. Semi-attractive at best. Two months old, and God we bless him. He said, this is not going to work. And I looked at that. I was like, why was he naked with her? Like, that supposed to have been an uncle. And this is TV. I looked at that picture like, that was weird a long time ago. So they got rid of him. They bring on these two redheaded kids. I'm sure their parents loved them and thought they were attractive. Redheads are really hit or miss. Either they're so, so stunning or yeah. you need to keep them in your closet. And even when I look back on some interviews of them, when they talk about what they remembered. Remember, like, what's your earliest memory of that? We remember small things like being in a shower with Dave. <laughs> After watching Pied on set, I started thinking about other... She said being in a shower with Dan. I'm, I'm, I'm done, okay? These young ladies gonna come out. They have the right to come out and they better get sue somebody. They better sue the brakes to the point that them people are getting run down by the FBI just like Puffy. Now, let's hit The Rock. Now, this was crazy. And Arnold, yeah, it was The Rock. I think it was Arnold Schwarzenegger. They have did this crazy, crazy commentary that reveals a lot of sat sat satanicism. Okay, you tell me what these clips say to you. This was on my timeline. They trying to just mess up all my dreams, 
all the people that we liked, just everybody, everybody worship the devil. Jeez, Jesus, let's go. Children, I eat uh, children. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Twelve. 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 Oh, okay, uh, only to ten. Okay. He's like, that's good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm scared. I'm I'm really scared. This this seems real. <laughs> Children and pineapple. <laughs> the street. Which is fine. Xantrex gave me my life back. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Now, some of these clips can be computer generated. I don't know. That looked a little computer generated, but let's just keep our eyes on this. This adorable little darling cupcake came to me and presented me with a beautiful lily. I bent down to tell her how much I love to eat little children, but she seemed totally unfazed. Big maho to all the fans who wait a long time to say hello and meet. Always my pleasure. Why do he say he eat kids? What type of shit is that? That's not funny. That's that's just, just what we do here for, for laughs and jokes. My name is Roy. This this ain't he look like Arnold Schwarzenegger in this picture, but that's why I was confused. He do look like Arnold Schwarzenegger in this picture. But I remember this. This was on a living color. I remember this, and this was ridiculous. Guys, watch this. And, uh, I um uh... And for the most evil invention in the world contest, I invented a... Uh, I think a living color. A child. No, or Nickelodeon. I think it was Nickelodeon. This was Nickelodeon. This was Nickelodeon. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Twanta Claus is coming. Everybody. Hey. I don't know who the hell is Twanta Claus, but all I know is that that... When he was standing next to the robot, if y'all missed it because I was talking, he said that he made a molestation robot. And I, that was on a Nickelodeon show. The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program, which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.